wild horses who once roamed most of the steppes of Eurasia, but today they can only be found in a few national parks. Their less surviving subspecies is the endangered Chavalskis horse, counting less than 3,000 individuals worldwide. In some places, these horses live in a multi-level society, as their herds are apparently composed of cohesive units, the harems. Multi-level societies are complex social systems that occur also in primates and humans, but despite their importance, little is known about their structure and dynamics. We investigated this question in Portobai National Park, the largest captive population of Shawalski's horses, using drones. We recorded the horse herd's collective movements with two drones. One drone recorded a top view video for movement tracking of all individuals in the population, while another drone scans through the herd, providing close-up video for individual identification. We combined short-term drone observations with long-term population monitoring data as individuals of this population have been regularly monitored since the establishment of the reserve in 1997. This long-term monitoring allowed us to reconstruct the dynamical development of harm groups, spanning through more than 20 years. DNA sampling of all horses provided parentage data, both for maternal and paternal side. Based on drone widows, we tracked the movement of 278 horses through several minutes. Harms, noted with different colors, moved as cohesive units within the herd, while bachelor males, shown with black axis, were typically at the periphery of the herd. This fine scale tracking showed how the horses interacted with each other during movements which revealed new details about their social network. We uncovered bonds within the harems and between the harems. Harems of genetically related stallions were closer to each other in this network and female transfer was more common between closer harems. Older and larger harems were typically more central most surprisingly, although we recorded only several minutes of movements, by tracking a whole population at high resolution, we could recover not just the current social structure, but we could also infer group changes in the past and future. <laughs>